Hello, welcome to Sweet Lab Motorsport Complex. Uh, we've just been enjoying a, a day's tuition here. Um, it's a new academy opened up in Mid Wales. The idea is that you bring about, bring along your, your own adventure bike, and uh, it serves a familiarisation day with your bike, and it teaches you some skills to get the most out of that bike. My name's Mark Molyneux. I've been riding off road for 45 years. Um, and welcome to Sweet Lamb Adventure Bike Academy. Um, it's a place basically where you can come with no experience or loads of experience um, because we can accommodate it either way. We can come round and do some trial riding, we can do instruction through the day and then through the day we build up um, so that on the afternoon we put in techniques together over our various areas to which we have five uh, so we've got five different areas and two extreme areas and um, the extreme areas are very testing and um, you wouldn't do those on a standard bike with standard green lane tyres they're for a little bit more advanced groups but generally the whole area is doable on trail bikes with trail bike tyres there's nothing here that's that's difficult to do Um, I've brought along an F650 GS that I bought on eBay a week or two ago and uh, it's been a great familiarisation with the fact that it's not a very good bike. I don't quite know why I bought it. I bought it as a replacement for my 1200 and quite sad that I, that I have bought it as a replacement because it's just really soggy and it got a really slow power delivery. So the realisation for me today is that I bought the wrong bike so that's served a good purpose but along the way I've also learned a lot of skills and, and uh, techniques. It's also been a great day to ride the new SWM. Uh, they've got the 300 here, the 500 here, and the 650. So we've had time to spend on all, all three bikes. The 300 at the bottom end starts about 4,800 roughly. Um, for me, that's, that's the best bike for, for most riders, if anybody's honest with themselves. 300cc gives you plenty of power. It's got a real nice delivery, real progressive. So if you're doing most trails around the UK, it's, it's perfectly adequate. The 500 I found it didn't offer that much extra over the 300. Obviously, it's got a bit more when you open it up, but it just doesn't seem to, to deliver that any more really. It's about 400 quid extra than the, than the 300. The surprise for me is the 650 and when you compare the SWM 650 with the F650 it, it, it's like they're from two different planets. Straight off the throttle there's so much power on that 650 it's, it's almost on, on road tyres it, it overcomes traction too easy I mean it's so, it's so immediately bites on the throttle but once you get used to that and you, you learn to control it and, and restrain yourself it's just a, a fantastic bike. I was sceptical of the SWM, I thought it would be a poor quality, sort of Chinese influenced bike. I really thought it'd be crap. But riding them today and slinging them around, falling off, 
they're a really good bit of kit um, and they're well priced and for me that's 650 if I could swap if I could ride home on the SWM 650 instead of my F650 GS I would do that uh, in a heartbeat because it's a phenomenal bike and uh, I look forward to spending a bit more time on it actually I think interestingly for the 650 SWM, it forms the foundation for the, the dual sport version that's coming in the summer. And if they can sort of refine that and turn it into a road orientated version, I think it could be a real winner. Um, we've been riding alongside the CCM GP450 that's been here today and uh, you know, uh, that's a fantastic bike. I love the CCM GP450, but if SWM get that right with the 650, it could be one, one hell of a head-to-head uh, -head, because I think it could be phenomenal and cheaper. So uh, Graham will be testing that bike later in the series.